Hey YouTube, welcome to today's video and today I'm going to be talking about all the books I have read in the year 2019 so far. Today it is May 27th, so it's been all, almost a full five months since being in the year and I've yet to make a book about, make a video about books. Um, and these are all the books I've completed in the year 2019 so far. It's not many because I've been, I was in a really bad reading slump and I am trying not to force myself but trying to work my way into the Shadow Hunters Chronicles and so I'm starting with City of Bones and I have, I have the audiobook for that and I got the physical book from my library and I also have the audiobook of City of Ash because apparently I bought that one first for some reason. So those are books I'm going to try to get to in the summer. I also have other books I have to read in the summer that I don't really want to read all that much. So we're just going to get into this list. Um, I'm going to start with the one, I'm going to start a little bit from top to bottom. So what first things I read to last. Um, actually, it wasn't that bad of a reading year so far. Um, my goal is to read 50, I think I put it at, 50 or 30. And so, that's my goal for this year. Let's get into it. So the first book I read was Happy Ever After by Kira Cass. I'm not, for all the books, I'm just going to put pictures up right here. Um, I gave that five out of five stars. It was about, um, it was the selection from Aspen's, not Aspen's, um, Prince Maxon's point of view. We also got to see some of Maxon's point of view from there. Other people saw and see, like, I think you get to see the Queen's view, and I think maybe, I forget if you saw the King's view in that book as well. The next one I read was Good Morning, Good Night by Lev Miranda. I am a giant fan of his, so reading that book was awesome for me. It was just something I could read, and um, it was something that I physically had of his, like of the words. He does tweets every morning on during the week. And it's like, good morning. Um, and it's like a inspirational quote thing. I really like him. It's uh, a lot of fun because he, it, you never know what you're gonna get and it can be really funny. So yeah, and he does one night, good nights. So he does those and I give that five out of five stars. The next book I read was Anger is a Gift by Mark Oshiro, I think is how you say it. I give it five out of five stars. It is about a guy who is living in New York, I'm pretty sure. And he go, he's done with the summer and he goes to goes back to school and um, they installed more security at their school because it, he lives in a bad neighborhood. Not a bad, but just like a neighborhood you don't want to be in. And so, that's what happens, and they get mad at this girl for having medicine that she needs, and they assume it's drugs and don't talk to her about it, and he gets upset and he starts doing things to help prevent it, and that's, I'm not saying more after that, because that's, after that I'm pretty sure it ruins the book, and I don't want to do that, because I don't like people doing that for me. Um, so yeah, that's, that, that's the third book. Um, the next one I read is Poet X, is the Poet X by Elizabeth, I cannot, I, I butcher her name, um, Avincindo, Avincindo, I gave it 4.5 out of 5 stars, I don't remember what I didn't, what I missed from the book, it was about a girl in New, I don't remember what it was, what it was at, but it was about her and her going about school, and her brother, and life, it was a good book. I really liked it. Um, so that's something I read this year. Um, next one I read was Hate You Give by Angie Thomas. It was by her. Yep. Get it four to five stars. I don't really know what I missed in the book. What I just didn't get from the book. That maybe I wanted to. Yeah. Let me bring up the camera. Okay. What you doing? Filming a video. Do you want to come say hi? Sure, what you doing? I'm talking about the books I've read since I haven't made one of those videos in almost five months. Hello. Hi, uh, YouTube. This is my sister, Emma. She dyed her hair a couple, like a week ago. 
Yeah, I'm not really good though. We could go. Do you, do you have a book that you're currently reading? Um, I'm reading... <clears throat> it's the second book in the Alex and the Lightning Trilogy. I can't remember what it's called. She'll be back with that information, apparently. <laughs> um, so I'm just going to sit here and wait. It's called Nothing More. She, uh, she's a, so we're all obsessed with Hamilton. Um, she's the most obsessed, I, I feel like. Um, and she has read the first book in this series, Alex and Eliza trilogy. Yeah. Um, Alexander and Eliza. Um, and this is the second book. Um, I assume there's a third one. There that's, is. That's, that's a, why it's called the trilogy. That's supposed to be coming out? Or is it already, it's already out? out? It's already out. She's just late to the party. Um, so yeah. Thanks, Em. I'll do it in a couple minutes. I don't have that many books I've read this year. Okay. Bye. Bye. Um, getting back to what I plan to do. Um, next book I have that I read is looking. I reread Looking for Alaska, I'm pretty sure, um, by John Green, and I get five, five, five out of five stars. Again, this book follows a guy as he goes to boarding school, and he gets um, involved with, like, smoking and drinking and stuff and it's his experience when something happens w happens to one of his friends named Alaska and going on that journey and trying to figure out what it was or what it is um next book I read was Dear Van Hansen by Val Gimache people who made the musical and I gave it four point seven five out of five stars i just i feel like it just didn't like fulfill me enough um i feel like there were a few things that could have been better about the book um i did truly love it though it was amazing i loved the way that they took the story from music and put into um just words with no music um and so there were a little thing like little song bits in it um, uh, one of the characters, like, as if, like, she was writing the song, and so, I did enjoy that part, because as someone who loves music, and literally has four guitars in her room, um, and writes songs, um, it was really cool to see that, and I love it. Um, next book I read was Five Feet Apart by... Riddle. I'll remember who it's by. I wrote something down and I can't read it. Um. By Rachel Imcott, I think. I don't even think that's the right person. I think we're done on a person's name. But it, I gave it five out of five stars. It follows people who have CF, and so when you CF stands for cystic fibrosis. And I first heard of the book through a channel. Oh my goodness, my eyebrows are really bad. I need like the full pen. That's not the point. Um, the point is that I need that um, Five Year Apart follows two characters. I can't even remember the name of this. I've, it's been so long since I read it. I remember the storyline though. Um, it follows two characters who go up, uh, who uh, both have CF. One of them has a worser form of it, the guy does. And they have to stay five feet apart at all, at all times, or are supposed to, um, because you could possibly get someone else's germs or, they could, or give them your germs. Um, and you don't want that because that could make them sicker. So that's like the whole point of them staying five feet apart. But they uh, they try and they pursue this relationship, and that's what the book is about. So yeah. The next book I read was Divergent by Veronica Roth. Uh, I reread it for a readathon, I think it was. Um, and I gave it five out of five stars. I love that book. Um, it is amazing. It will always be one of my top favorites of all time. Up there with like love interests and um, the selection. So it's so good. I love it. Um, and then the I have two more books on this list. <laughs> Can you tell I've been reading something this year? Um, the next book I read is Hamilton the Revolutionary um, by Lemuel Miranda. And 
J Jeremy McCartney. I'll, I didn't write down the rating, but I'm pretty sure I gave it four to five stars. I loved it. It gave me new insight into Hamilton and his life, and they audiobooked it, so I don't really know much else about it. Um, the reason I gave it four is because it's it was boring to me because I already knew all the information, and so that's the part that was boring to me because I knew everything. So, in a weird way, I was upset at myself for being smart, but not really. <laughs> so yeah. Um, and the last book I read was Crossover by Con uh, Kim Wayne Alexan Alexander, and I gave it five out of the five stars. Um, this book was about basketball and how basketball um, um, affected someone's life. Um, it followed a set of twins and their parents um, and how their dad was basically the basketball genius of his time and it follows the story of how basketball helps him through t through the ups and down of, downs of his life and his dad like gives rules about basketball and stuff and so I found it very intriguing and I very much loved it. Basketball is a sport I've, I've played since I was three years old so it's something I love and it was awesome for me to read that. So yeah, um, I love it. Um, so. Thank you guys for watching this video. I only got, I only have I've read one two. I've read eleven books in twenty nineteen, so that's better than a book a month. That's more than two books a month. So we're on the fifth month, and I'm on for eleven. So if I finish City of Bones in this month, it'll be three. No. We finish five, five divided by ten is two, so it's more than two a month. I can't do math anymore. I'm gonna stop. It's summer. Um, so yeah, guys, I, I thank you guys for watching this video. If you guys did enjoy it, make sure to leave a like and tell me what else you wanna see. Um, if you guys like my music video or my, my, my covers, let me know. Um, I do have more on my phone I can upload. I just don't know if you guys actually want to see them or not. Um, I know this is kind of a weird video to put out, but I just didn't post for four months, first four months of, of the year, um, because of school and test and being very busy, and YouTube has always been a thing that I've done to, like, help calm myself down, and making music has always been that same thing, and art, so I do plan to put out more videos and the thing I actually haven't talked about that I'm trying I'm gonna actually start doing I'm gonna make a video specifically on it and post it the day I'm filming this um I'm going to do vlogs throughout the summer um of what I'm doing that day um they're gonna be in weeks so it is one day which means it is almost the end of my first week of summer my summer started Wednesday last Wednesday um and so that's what that's how I'm going it um, there will be a time where a video will be posted early and you will get one, um, and the next one just won't be a full week because I will be at a camp and I'm not, not allowed to be on, or we're allowed to be on our phones, but we aren't, he, they don't like us, they don't want me posting videos. It's like, okay, I understand, so that's the point. And then also when I go on a trip, I won't, I'll talk to them about it, be like, hey, I'm doing this thing. If you don't want me filming, I will. I'm just gonna talk to him myself, and like I'll. Um, and I'm also going to a mission trip, so that will be fun for you guys. I want to give you guys a heads up about it. Um, so yeah, a lot of fun stuff coming this summer. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.